Hello, I'm Joe Slation, Managing Editor of the Wabash Plain Dealer, bringing you a new feature to our webpage we call Tomorrow's Headlines. Basically what it is is a sneak peek at some of the stories you'll be able to find in the Plain Dealer on Tuesday, November 26th, or later on this evening uh, on the Wabash Plain Dealer webpage, www.wabashplaindealer.com. Our lead story on Tuesday uh, comes from the Wabash County Commissioner's meeting. Reporter Nick Van Heest was there and brings the story uh, of Terry Burnworth of Pyramid Architecture and Engineering in Indianapolis, who was on hand to discuss the old Wabash County Jail building with commissioners. The building was built about 1880 and is located at 31 West Main Street, just east of the current uh, jail facility. It was last used as a jail about 35 years ago and most recently was used about 10 years ago when the probation department was in there but they have since moved out and the building has been vacant since then. It's in need of much uh, repair and Burnworth said uh, according to the study from Pyramid it would cost upward of $650,000 to refurbish the building and could be used as additional office space or possibly a museum about uh, about jails and, and jail history. Or he said the commissioners could consider raising the facility and use the vacant land uh, for much needed uh, additional parking around the Wabash County Courthouse. Uh, we'd be interested in knowing what you uh, Wabash County residents feel should happen and invite you to send your comments to our Wabash uh, or to our Facebook page. Um, there's a link there that uh, you can uh, respond to the question what should be done with the with the old jail building. In another story from the commissioners meeting uh, Nick Van Heest uh, brought some good news for the Wabash County transit system uh, if you remember, uh, last month the Wabash County Council denied the transit uh, system's request to use $20,000 from the County Economic Development Income Tax uh, Fund to help uh, pay the county or pay the transit system's portion uh, of a grant to receive two new uh, two new buses for the for their fleet. Well, the transit system received word that. Uh, they qualified for another grant and that money uh, like I said about twenty thousand uh, dollars will be used to for the transit systems portion of the of the matching grant the money they are receiving uh, will be coming from uh, the federal government uh, via the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act all told the two vans will cost somewhere around uh, ninety three thousand um, dollars in in the last year or in 2012 the transit systems fleet of I believe nine vehicles transported 43,000 people to various spots around Wabash County in another story reporter Eric uh, Seaman brings a story uh, from the Wabash County or Wabash High or Wabash City uh, Schools middle school building uh, in which uh, a group of sixth graders recently visited uh, Huntington University. Their visit was part of the Wabash City Schools District's uh, College and Career Readiness Mission, which hopes to introduce uh, college and career choices to youngsters at an early age, so uh, it gets them thinking about college or what career they'd like to go to at an early age. Uh, Eric uh, spoke with uh, Amy Deggetts, the teacher who spearheaded the visit, as well as several of the students who were there. One of the biggest thrills they received on the campus was a visit with the uh, Huntington University president. You'll find more about that in the Plain Dealer on Thursday, or I'm sorry, on Tuesday. And also on Tuesday, you'll find more on the uh, Wabash Christian Heritage Churches. 13th annual Thanksgiving Day uh, meal. They open it up to the community and you can uh, come and eat uh, Thanksgiving meal at no charge. The church is located at 2776 uh, River Road on the south side of Wabash 
And like I said, this is the 13th year, and they have uh, a wide variety of food to choose from, including uh, turkey and all the, all the trimmings. In sports, Plain Dealer Sports Editor Justin Shockey takes a look at the Manchester uh, High School boys swim team. The squad has 13 swimmers this year, up significantly from uh, 2012. And there are several uh, key returnees, uh, including Ron Messer, Evan Milam, Colin Garcia, Xavier Watson, and Ashton Bollinger. We hope you look for that story, as well as all the others in The Plain Dealer on Tuesday. And again, you can find them also on the webpage, www.wabashplaindealer.com. And you can find links to these and other stories on um, the Plain Dealer Facebook page and the Plain Dealer Twitter page. Until tomorrow, I'm Joe Slation, wishing you nothing but the best. Thank you.